guys, welcome to Ramer TV. This is gonna be the continuation of my topic last vlog. Are you ready? Let's get started! Today, I'm going to discuss the application of the cosine function in finding the missing angle or the missing side of a right triangle. Uh, in my previous vlog, I have chosen angle A as, as our acute angle theta. You can also choose angle B as your acute angle theta. For that case, if this is our acute angle theta, this leg must be called the adjacent because this leg is near our chosen acute angle. This leg must be the opposite because this, is, this leg is far from our chosen acute angle theta or angle B. So, we can replace theta by angle B. And maintain these variables, adjacent and the hypotenuse. As it is, our diagonal side remains the hypotenuse. Suppose we are solving for the measure of this acute angle. I'm going to show you how to solve this. Okay, class, this is the solution in computing the measure of our acute angle B. According to our given, our A measures 3 cm. So we have it there. Our uh, hypotenuse measures 5 cm. So we also have 5 cm here as the denominator. And we can cancel this uh, unit of measurements because they are the same leaving only 3 feet as the value in the right hand side and to compute for the measure of your acute angle B that is our acute angle theta you apply the inverse cosine function both sides uh, because of this process the label cosine will be removed and in the left in the left hand side what will be seen is angle B and then in the right hand side we can get this uh, value by using our scientific calculator I'm going to show you how to use it class this is how to use the scientific calculator in computing the cosine the inverse cosine of the uh, value 3 fifth first you uh, press the keypad with the word shift and then the keypad with the word cosine and then you press the keypad with the open parenthesis and then the keypad with number 3 and then the division symbol and then 5 then press the keypad with the closed parenthesis press the equal the keypad with the equal sign and then this is our the this is the measure of our acute angle b so, if you are required to get the approximate value, you can also have 53.13 degrees. If you are required to give an approximate answer in two decimal places. Class, uh, we have already answered the measure of our acute angle B because of the application of the cosine function. I hope to proceed in discussing the computation for the missing side of a right triangle using the cosine function but it is almost similar to my discussion about application of the sine function the difference is the value of a trigonometric uh, function or the trigonometric value so let's uh, let's proceed to the application of the tangent function in solving for the missing measure of an acute angle so in my first plug i have chosen angle a as our acute angle theta in my uh, uh, today's in my today's plug i have chosen angle b as our acute angle theta so it's my tripping 
let's go back to angle A. So, I want to emphasize here, guys, that your acute angle theta can be any acute angle. You can choose uh, depending on your uh, decision. But for me, I will go back to angle A. Suppose that angle A is missing. The measure of this angle is missing. So, we can uh, make angle A as our acute angle theta. So, we can replace this one, this symbol by acute angle A and maintain these variables. Since this is our acute angle, A, uh, acute angle, there, there will be renaming of the legs. Since this leg is near our chosen acute angle, theta, this must be our adjacent. Since this leg is far from our chosen acute angle, theta, this is our opposite. Then this one, the diagonal side is always the hypotenuse. Okay. Suppose we do not know the measure of this acute angle A. It was solved in my previous blog. But let us assume that uh, we have forgotten it. So I'm going to show you how to solve the measure of this acute angle by using the tangent function. Class, this is how to use the scientific calculator in computing the tangent uh, value of the number 3 fourth. Uh, first, you press the keypad with the word shift above and then press the keypad with the word tan then press the keypad with the open parenthesis and then the number 3 press the division symbol press number 4 and then press the keypad with the close parenthesis and then press the keypad with equal sign and this will be the measure of our acute angle A. This is a very accurate measure but if you are required to give an approximate value in two decimal places you can have the measure of acute angle A as 36.87 degrees. This is almost the same with the value of our angle A in, uh, in the application of the sine function. Plus, this is the solution using the tangent function. Since we have chosen acute angle A as our acute angle theta, this must be our opposite. This measures 3 cm. And this should be, uh, this is our adjacent, which measures 4 cm. So this uh, takes place because of this given and substitution. So we can cancel these units because they are the same above and below the fractional bar. So to really obtain the measure of acute angle A, we have to apply the inverse tangent function both sides. So in that pro uh, because of that process, because of this, uh, what will be left in the left hand side will be only angle A. What will be left? on the right hand side is the result of this expression by using the scientific calculator. So I'm going to show you how to use the scientific calculator to have this measure of our acute angle A. Class, the cosine and tangent functions are really amazing. Because of them, we're able to compute the measure of our chosen acute angle whether it is angle a or angle b i hope to discuss how to solve for the missing side of a right triangle using the tangent function but as what i have said earlier when you compute for the missing side of any of a right triangle uh, that is almost the same with my discussion about using the sine function the difference is 
that trigonometric value. So, if you wish to compute the missing side using the tangent function, uh, you just follow the pattern uh, according to what I have discussed in sine function. You only change sine function by uh, the sine value by tangent value. But if you wish to solve for the missing side using the cosine function, again, you just follow the pattern uh, of solving the sine function but you replace the sine uh, value by cosine value. Okay. In my I hope class you enjoy my discussion today. In my next vlog, I'm going to discuss the compound interest formula that is a equals to p times 1 plus r over n raised to, to the power of nt this is very useful in computing the compound interest the principal the missing rate and so on and so forth as long as long as you can see it in the formula parents i'm offering my tutorials if you want my service just contact me with this number this is Ramar TV, signing off, and goodbye!